What is up guys, my name is Eric, this is Racing Ram Fam, and in today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to do a street tune. Today, our vehicle is a twin turbo Dodge Ram 1500. This baby's sporting some GT35 turbos on a stock bottom end 5.2 liter Magnum, making all the boosts. But before we make all the boosts, we need to actually do a street tune on them. Uh, JT's here, aka Fluffle Off. Hey. Uh, we are gonna get in the truck and show you guys on how you do a street tune, what is a street tune, and why are we doing it instead of a dyno. Well, an answer short and easy to that is, is we are not going to the dyno right away. It costs money to go to the dyno, and we're just doing a street tune because it's quick, easy, and if you know what you're doing, you can get a pretty decent tune out of your vehicle just with a street tune. So the first thing you're gonna need is some tuning software. We are running an SCT tuning software with the Advantage 3 for actual tuning and changes. And then we're using their Live Link software for data logging so when we go on the street we can actually see what's happening in the motor. The only problem with the street tune versus a dyno tune is this is not gonna be as precise of a tune. It's gonna be more guesswork than it is actually seeing the results of something. It's butt dynoing versus actual dynoing, so we don't know the actual numbers of what's happening. So we are going to do a very safe, conservative tune. Data logging is pretty much we are keeping track of the data and we are logging it. So all the data that the PCM is telling our tuner, like coolant temp, uh, engine vacuum slash boost, map, uh, what are other things, timing, fueling, we have a wideband O2 sensor we read with this scan tool, and data logging. We are taking all that data and we are saving it so we can actually read the data and make changes on our tune so the truck's more happy, makes more power, doesn't blow up. These are very important things to do that you need to data log a vehicle whenever you're dynoing or you're doing street tuning. So, you can start the data log right here. We got the truck running, of course. And we just click start right here in the upper corner. It is loading and we are getting everything going and stuff. So the first thing you see is all these lines and changes and you can see all our data proofs right here, the actual values are changing. That's because of how we are running. So, yeah. So now we're gonna take the truck actually out get ripping on it and look at these data logs when we start getting to boost and what kind of feeling we have. I think the tires are kind of wide. <laughs> There's <laughs> snow flying up everywhere. <laughs> Alright guys, we just went on that little test drive and uh, with our street tuning, um, we did get into a little bit of boost. Uh, I was leaning out pretty hard. We got two histograms pulled up right now and a histogram just makes it a lot easier to understand. Uh, we are looking at air fuel ratio in the actual data itself. Uh, on our left column here, we have RPM. Up here we have TOR, so that's actually the pressure in the manifold. Um, this was when we were going into overdrive, so we got, it's pretty fat, pretty fat, and then we went into overdrive, 16, 16 to 4, so that's way too lean. So then we went into the actual, uh, we were looking at about, hmm, let's see, 1300, 1400 RPMs at like 360 TOR. So then we went into over here, and we went into our actual fuel table, and we got 296, 395 TOR, so we went to the closer to the 2. Uh, 395 and we added some fuel. Uh, we might also just add a tiny bit, a touch right here at 296. And yeah, so then we'll copy this whole fuel table that we just changed. And we'll go to our EGR off fuel table and we'll paste our changes right into that guy. And then we downloaded that onto our tuner itself. Not four. That's four pounds. Four pounds of boost. That was, that was wide open throttle, boys. That felt pretty that quick, though. Wide open throttle for four pounds. Yeah. I don't think it was wide, wide. I think it was like seven eighths because I wasn't like mashing it. But 
Yeah, we got a good data log right there. Perfect. I did, I was watching the, the boost gauge and I, I saw... I wasn't watching that, I was just watching the air fuel ratio. I was watching the boost gauge and I, I could have swore I saw four, but it might have only been three. Four pounds, yeah. Four pounds, three pounds, I don't know, we'll see. Did you hear sure, it kicked though. down? Though? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Why are you throwing pretty good, guys? He's cruising good, we got the overdrive, he's like 13, 14 right now, 14.5. 11, 13, so we got that overdrive down pretty good. So now we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go to the gas station and fill him up with some fuel because he's running pretty low. But I'm pretty happy with him so far. Oh my God. Oh my god, boys! <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Oh, that we was... need a track bar! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy crap, it felt like the front end of the roof on the whitey! <laughs> but that was oh. wide open throttle, and these waste gates were only on three pounds of boost. Oh my god, that felt like the whole front end was gonna rip out of the truck. Oh, oh dude, that was, that was so jittery right now. Uh, I'm not, oh. I'm, I'm shaking and I'm not even driving. Oh that. my gosh. Oh, I got a little rush from that. Oh my gosh, I did too, my heart's pounding. Mine too, and I'm not even driving. So, fuel cell life, boys, let's see how that goes. Uh, we need to pull way forward. How much she takes? Well, but Whitey's gonna get a new diet come summertime, right? Yeah. <laughs> Eat. He's gonna be corn fed, boy. <laughs> this is just because it's winter right now. Yep. Here in Minnesota. Minnesota. All right, boys. We are full of fuel. Uh, Whitey's fuel cell is. Uh, we are about to drive him back. Uh, if you guys saw, we did go wide open throttle. And we made about three pounds of boost. Three or four-ish, yeah. It was, it was about three. I mean, the data log will really tell us how much boost it was at, but we got a good data log. Um, it was really rich, so we definitely have some fuel to pull on it. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm just shaking because we definitely got the death wobble. We're both a little shaky right now. <laughs> yeah, we definitely got the death wobble out of the front end when we floored it. So uh, I think track bar time because we just did ball joints and wheel bearings. So. I think it's definitely track bar time. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was that was something else. So we're about to rip Whitey back. Uh, we're gonna just take back roads because of the death wobble. That was. And we got our good our good data log, our wide open data log. So now we can really clean up his fuel and get this thing set in good, so we can start turning up the boost. We're gonna have to probably replace some springs or take the uh, boost lines off of the wastegates to get that boost to go up, but. Yeah, guys, this is this is crazy. <laughs> I've never oh. seen you trampling like this. Oh dude. my god, dude, that death wobble <laughs> scared me. I, I it was bet. pretty fast. Like it was fast on three pounds. <laughs> like it definitely pulled. Oh yeah. Oh, you could feel it, dude. Yeah, it pulled. I don't know how fast. We're, we're going pulling. speed limit, but I don't know how fast the speed limit was. So, all right, let's get Whitey back. I think we should pull over here, guys, get my photo of Whitey, and I think that we should let JT drive home. Oh, you think so, huh? Well, I don't know what the ice in my driveway. Do you want yeah. to or no? Uh, not with the ice on the driveway. Alright. We're sliding right now. Oh my god, gang! Uh oh! Gang! Gang! You can't see it on camera. But yeah, now we can. Gang! Oh, sexy. Oh my gosh, gang, riding out white trucks for life. Woo! Hey, two twin turbos sticking out of the hood there. How much boost you're running? Oh, you know, a whopping zero PSI. Three Woo! pounds, boy. What are you hey, come on, about? we on zero most we of the time, boy. Three. <laughs> three PSI. We ain't about that boost life. We about that vacuum life. 
He sounded like a beast though when we got on him. Yeah, I'm oh excited to God, see the yeah. video of it. Yes. Because <laughs> I was kind of just freaking out and staring at the wide band, not paying attention to anything else. Like my eyes were glued to the wide band. <laughs> and and all, all of a sudden, sudden the truck started shaking like crazy. No idea how fast we were going. And, and Eric I thought, died. I thought I saw like three PSI, so. But our data lock will definitely, data locks don't lie, so we'll definitely know. But this is, this is street tuning, boys and girls. subscribe button so you can see more awesome shenanigans with Whitey. We're getting the tune down. We're getting it so close. Uh, comment down below what you guys are most excited to see Whitey do. Drag race, truck pulls, racing trucks, burnouts, just like that big old burnout we just did with Whitey. I'm so pumped. You guys should be too. But as always guys, keep it boosted! And we'll see you next time. Peace! Join the Ram Fam today guys. Pick up one of your racing Ram Fam shirts today. Email me at keepitboosted at racingramfam.com so you guys can be part of the Ram Fam.